channel. My name is Jenny. I am a mom of four and a homeschooling mom to three little ones this school year. Today, I am going to be trying to organize all our school stuff. Um, my All my curriculum came in finally. My order from Bookshark that I have been waiting for for three, four weeks finally came in this weekend. So um, now I get to go ahead and start making copies of the things that I, I need for the school year and just starting to get prepared for that. But um, today I'm going to be doing um, a video of me just trying to organize our school area. We homeschool in our dining room area and I have everything all over the place right now. And I will show you what I have so far. I'm gonna be pulling a couple of bins and baskets or something like that. From different areas from my house that I'm not using right now and then um, I will try to organize our school uh, materials to make it easy for us when school starts yeah August 17th we start school and I will just bring you along and show you the things that I I'm gonna do this year to try to make it easier on me and easier on the kids to be able to grab their their stuff and work every day and do their schoolwork every day. Okay, so here I will show you, I have this cubby um, thing that I brought, this piece of furniture that I brought from my, my son's room that he doesn't use. So I put it here and I have all these cubbies full of things right now. So here I have some bins as well. So this is our Spanish stuff so far. Some books, I have more books in here. These are the books that they have been able to grab uh, during the summertime for their summer reading. This is all the books that Addison read during this summer. And now she's moved on to another little series that um, she's working on right now. But I have more books in there. This closet, let's see if the lights turn on. Um, let's see. So this closet also I have a ton of school work in here. Here's our math um, bins. This is Jacob's and this is Addison's. They have the little manipulatives in there and all their um, math books in there. And we have a couple other things that we use for math, but this, this is where they come and grab their little bin to do their work with dad. Da their dad does math with them on the weekends. And then I also have a little cart that I'm gonna be building so we'll start putting everything out and then I'll see how I end up organizing this whole area to get us ready for the school year.
guys, it's late now. Um, I had to go and run some errands and take the kids to jujitsu and cook dinner. So now I just finished um, putting everything away where I think I want to keep it for this school year. So I'll go around and I'll show you what I'm going to be doing, how I organized everything. And I'm sure I'll move some stuff around eventually when I start actually homeschooling and get more comfortable with what we're doing. But for now, this is how I'm going to leave it until we start in two weeks. So I'll go around and show you guys. Okay, so we're going to start right here. We got I got this little cart. And so far in here, I just have our Read Out Loud and my planner. And then I have this, but I don't think I'll be using that. Um, then we have the book of feelings that we're going to be reading one feeling every day. And then this really cute book I got with, let me bring it out more to the light, um, with 365 affirmations for kids. And then I have my Explode the Code teacher's guide, just in case I have any questions or anything like that, I can go and look at that. And then our Latino history book and my book about everything a preschooler needs to know. So I have those there just for quick access. And then we have some um, ABC cards. And then down here, right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm putting down the things that we're going to be doing once a, per, uh, once a week. Um, so I told Jacob he can grab one of these every day, uh, whatever he chooses to do. I haven't decided how we're gonna start. But this, we only do once a week, usually on Friday, so do this. And then the science books we'll do once a week and so on. Same thing for Addison, she's going to start doing this one. And uh, she'll only do one of these per week. And that will help her with drawing and learning to draw different things and also copy work. And then she has her science book down here also and geography and social studies. We work on those one uh, one page every day. So that, that's easy access for her to just grab. So that's my little cart I put together. And then over here, right here I put Jacob's Read Out Loud, well not Read Out Loud, it's his books that come with the Bookshark curriculum for easy access for him to look for the book that we're supposed to be doing that week or those two weeks, whatever. And then this is extra, um, these are extra books that I have for helping him with his printing, his handwriting. Those are just extra books I bought on Amazon last year. So we're getting through those still. And then he has a drawing pad that he can use if he wants to bring it out to draw. And cursive, we're gonna start learning cursive. And then my history book right here uh, for me to grab it easily. And then in here, we just have Play-Doh stuff for Landon and Addison for them to grab. And, and then down here, I just have the little bucket I'm going to use for Landon. And it has a bunch of activities for him to do. So I will be able to grab whatever I want right there. And here, we just have extra supplies. Oh, and Landon's, one of Landon's favorite things to do. So we'll have that here also. And then here we have all of our Bookshark, our language arts curriculum. This is all for language arts. Two for Jacob, two for Addy. This is for Landon, just for coloring pages. And then this is extra paper that we have there. Then down here, like I said, I put in all my unit study books that I'm going to be doing. So I have the bugs and the big blue ocean books. So we have that in the trees. So that's where I have that. When we work on that, we'll pull out from there. And I might leave them out actually when we're working on them for that month or that week that we're doing. And down here, we just have some books for Landon to be able to grab and play with and pretend to read. And I have a couple of books in there that I'm actually gonna pull, like this one, The Grouchy Ladybug. That one should go in here with the bugs, the bug book. Yes, it's part of Bugs, so we'll, we'll be reading that one. I love that book. Um, 
um, right here, we just have some things for Landon to do. You know, like a whiteboard and some Dollar Tree finds from Addison that I bought for Addie, but Landon will get to use as well. We have some of these that we can put things into them so they can trace. We use those a lot. And then we just have um, our thing of pencils that I need to actually replace a lot of pencils in here and pens. And then some markers and scissors and one thing of glue. Um, right here, we just have some books. Addie will start reading these books on her own because she already read all the other ones that I got all of these for her to be able to read. And I have these cute little books I got for different countries. So right now she's reading this little set. It's really cute. And here we have some journals that we'll be using this school year. These are their old journals, journals, but we'll be using these this school year for our science journals. And, oh, what else? Let me see. Up here, we have extra crayons. Oh, no, not, yeah, crayons. We have extra highlighters and um, erasers. And then here we have a bucket of books. Those are for Addie. When she's bored and she wants something to do, I will let her have that bucket and she could read a book. And that's her abacus and our timer. Then in here, we have all our Spanish stuff in this little orange bucket and then just extra books. Like if I need some activities for the kids, I bought these uh, three books to get some uh, activities out of there for them to do. Those are fun books. And then I just put some construction paper here because it didn't fit in my other bucket that I usually carry it, put it in. And then of course, all the books the kids are reading <clears throat> this summer, they're right here. Jacob's gonna start reading this one. He already started with the first two or three, I think. And in here, I just have Addison's books for her uh, language art curriculum. I put them in here so I can remember and grab them easily as we go. And then just some extra stuff that we, we will not be using that often. So I just put it in here. I'll put that in there because I'm not going to really need it. But I think that's it. So we have our little cart. And then here I have my whiteboard and some crayons and some markers. That's it. Um, I organized almost everything I'm going to be using this school year. And hopefully it works out for me because, I mean, I'll end up changing things up probably as I go along and I see that it doesn't work, I'll change it. It's not permanent. But that's all for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it gave you some good ideas on how to organize your, your school curriculum. School is almost here, almost about to start and I'm so excited for it. But I hope you guys have a great night or day wherever you are. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you soon. Bye.